Okay then peeps, so um, welcome to another battle report. This time we're going back in time. To the future. To the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so a couple of years ago, a few years ago, um, there was a bit of a dodgy film made which spoiled a nice little franchise. <laughs> First couple of movies were really good uh, and then it sort of went downhill pretty fast and no one seems to know what's going on. But there is talk about another movie coming out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. So, Today's video and battle report is almost uh, a little bit of a blast back in time and today we are going to be playing Terminator mm. Genesis unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, for me, um, fantastic rule system. Um, Alessio, Cavatore, River Horse did the game. Um, works really well in normal sort of Alessio style. A few layers of depth. Really straightforward game to play. Pick up. Really intuitive. Um, different level dice. Different colours of dice even represent yeah. different levels uh, of ability within the game. Um, so yeah, really good game. Um, stick with it. Hopefully we'll give you a bit of a taster. You can still get the game in various different stores. We've still got a few copies left in store. Other than that, Amazon, eBay, they tend to come up every now and then. Some of the more unique resin bits are going to be a bit harder to find. Um, but yeah, really good game. I'm joined by Sam, who's going to take on the role of the uh, resistance yeah. today. So... Um, Sam's list is John Connor, because why not? Ooh, so you yeah. uh, he's got a resistance NCO with him. Uh, there's then three guys with rocket launchers. Yep. Uh, so he's going uh, balls deep <laughs> on this one. Uh, we then have a couple of guys with assault rifles, um, young lady with a shotgun, yeah, and it. seven guys with plasma rifles. In addition to that, Sam, what have you got? Yeah. I've got a tank. Got an Abrams. An Abrams, okay. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Lots of them in the movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it's in uh, the rule book. That's it. <laughs> uh, then I've got a Humvee. Yeah. Okay, and that's cool. Well, yeah. And then it's got uh, ACDC playing in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're going to need Iron Man by the time I finish with it. <laughs> uh, and then I've got, just got a truck with an LMG on it. A truck with an LMG. Is yeah. it a Toyota? Uh, they're all Toyota. Yeah. yeah, it is Toyota. Yeah. 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 Hilux, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Every good African militia owns a Toyota Hilux. <laughs> right, okay, so um, for me, I am going to be running the mighty Skynet. <laughs> yeah. um, and I have um, five, six, five endoskeletons. Um, I have an infiltrator. Prototype infiltrator, so he's not as good as a he, proper infiltrator. He might break down. Yeah, he might break down. He's a prototype. <laughs> he's made of resin, three D, three D printed. <laughs> and um, why not hunter killer? Yeah. Uh, and then some little <laughs> little baby drone. Little baby drone. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what it's called. I'll tell you in a bit. And um, yeah, my leader, because you're going John Connor and Abrahams. Yeah. I'm going to go T1000 Melty Dude. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to turn into kettles and all manner of stuff <laughs> um, and confuse you yeah. by just, I'm a little teapot. Yeah. Because that's not going to weird you out too much. <laughs> no. As long as you don't start singing, it will be alright. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so um, yeah, we're going to be playing Annihilate, which for uh, people out there that want to know what that is, it's basically kill. Cool. Uh, we've got an industrial, um, or a former industrial, almost looks like a Russian holiday resort, in fairness. <laughs> uh, you'll see this in a minute. Um, <laughs> it's five star, you can see them all through the ceiling. Um, so yeah, basically we've, we've got a bit of a, a wrecked industrial um, site, uh, and the um, resistance fighters are basically trying to get in here and get some... Um, information out. Uh, old Skynet doesn't want to know and is coming in and basically, you know, yeah. wants to kill you. It knows you're about. 
So uh, we're basically playing on 4x4. For those that aren't familiar with the game, it's really quite straightforward. You have um, three templates that are used in game. Uh, you have a uh, walk or crawl template. Mm -hmm. You have a walk template. And you have a effectively run template. Okay. Um, and what you do, you basically place these at the front of the base of the model and then place your model at the other end. Nice and easy. Mm. Okay, uh, so the earlier typical Alessio fashion, uh, being nice and straightforward, on the reverse is your range template. So what is effectively crawl distance is combat distance. Um, you then have short range, you then have medium range, and anything over this distance is deemed to be long range. And it also tells you what you need to hit. So point blank range, three up, short range, four up, medium range, five up, long range, six up. Okay? Because uh, we're playing on a four by four, we don't need to worry too much uh, about it going any further than that. Okay? Um, all of the models, uh, or all the um, profiles within the game have color coding which represents the different coloured dice. So green is D6, uh, red, which is really bad, uh, that's general civilians or police officers in the 80s, uh, is a red D4. So red D4, green D6, um, yellow D8, um, purple D10, black D12, and blue D20. So. Uh, basically, depending on how good you are at doing something, whether it be rolling to hit or saving throw, depends on what colour dice you're using. So obviously a Terminator passing a reeling test will roll a d20, so any fouls on that, uh, effectively a 1 to 6, would do something bad. Uh, so 1 in 14 in 20 chance of nothing happening, whereas a human um, is going to be testing on a much lower level which I think is a D8, yes it is, so it's to be a yellow die, so a D8, and bear in mind 1 to 6 is bad. So once they are hit, they too tend to suffer. Uh, humans do gain the benefit of cover, so at long range, and they can die for cover, and they get a cover save. Uh, Terminators just don't care. Okay. Uh, special rule on the Infiltrator is that he can't be shot at um, until he attacks somebody, uh, because he just looks like a normal human stooging about. Um, and all the other ones we'll explain as we go through. Okay, so um, what we'll do, we'll get the army set up on the table, we'll then show you the board, uh, otherwise known as uh, uh, sh <laughs> you know, five star yeah. Yeah, holiday resort as advertised by Lompoli. Oh, the other thing as well actually, uh, we have some uh, time displacement um, agents um, or devices. Um, so basically Sam, each force gets one as uh, standard and then Sam has taken one extra. So they basically allow you to go back in time and change the fate of a dice roll, i.e. it's a re-roll. Okay? Um, if Sam wants to particularly change something, I only have one, he has two. Um, once they're burnt, they're burnt. If he sends one back in time, I can send one back in time. So you get the whole thing of Sam's going to decide, right, I'm going to send this guy back, um, who's younger than me, but it's actually my father. <laughs> really confusing. <laughs> yeah. um, then obviously I can elect to then some, send someone back to stop his guy that he's sent back in time. So we basically roll off to see whether the re-roll takes effect. So again, there's lots of nice little bits from mm. the movie in the game. All right, so I would seriously check it out. Uh, don't be put off by the Genesis tag. Um, at the end of the day, it's a great little game system, um, and we'll show you and see what you think. So, uh, be back shortly with pre turn one yeah. setup. Okay, then, guys, so uh, this is our Russian holiday resort. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying that now. So, uh, we're going back to play a game of Terminator Genesis. Um, so, uh, we have deployed, so we have the uh, endoskeletons and an HK-8, which is the name of that little flying drone. Uh, we have an infiltrator ready to just walk down the high street and say hello to everyone. <laughs> uh, then uh, we have the T-1000 and the Hunter Killer poised to uh, do some damage. Um, we move through the uh, built-up area. Uh, we have the uh, Humvee. Uh, which has got John Connor, 
yeah, the NCO. Uh, NCO and a missile launcher in it. Uh, we have the uh, Toyota with a missile launcher and a shotgun. Then have a group of resistance fighters, the Abraham. Um, crushing the gas pipes <laughs> hopefully the gas is turned off and then we have um, some more troops just down the side of that building there so uh, we're going to roll a d6 and see who gets to uh, roll first so uh, three for the uh, terminators three. and a three so we'll try again uh, five Four. Four. So Terminators get to go first. Um, so how this works is we roll the Terminators, we will be rolling a Fate Dice. And that gives us one activation. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is actually activate the T-1000. So we mark him as activated and he's going to make a run move but he's also going to take an endoskeleton with him uh, because he is uh, command level two so he's actually going to take both those endos that are with him forward as well by activating them okay so one. the resilient uh, resilience um, resistance uh, roll a one so they get to activate one unit I think I shall activate my Toyota. Okay, so the Toyota is on its way. So it's going to go. Is this a double move? Yes, it is. Yeah. It is a double move. Watch out for the smoke. <laughs> Drift around the corner a bit. Yeah. He's going to go there. Okay. And then the Terminator. Go. We'll Skynet. So that's the fate dice. So um, I don't think I have any commanders left because the. Um, no, because I've already activated my T1000. So that means it's the resistance go again. Two. And they get two actions. So I think my Humvee's going to do a double move. Okay. So I'm just going to smash straight in the line. Yeah. So that's that. And your next one? I think we shall start moving some of these resistance soldiers up. There's one there. Okay, so on. he could fire, but he's got no targets. So back over to the Terminators. Or Skynet. And one. Okay. So. I think what we're going to do, we're going to move the little uh, drone, uh, the HK-8, so he's fast. So he's going to just do, make a move and I think try and put some shots into the uh, Toyota. So the HK-8 has just moved into position there and uh, it's uh, got line of sight to the Toyota. So it's going to fire its uh, plasma gun, which is rate of fire two. Uh, we are over the um, standard range, so we need sixes to hit, but we are using D8s. So here we go. And both missed with a five and a four. Okay, so rattle some shots off, no damage done. Um, your fake dice. Uh, one action. I think we shall. Move for more of these resistance fighters up. Mm -hmm. there. Okay, and terminator go. And again, uh, one action. So I think uh, this is the one where um, the infiltrator is just going to run straight up towards the school bus. So there he is, uh, moved up towards the school bus. Uh, remember, because he's an infiltrator, he cannot be targeted unless he opens fire. Uh, one action for the uh, Terminators. So this time, move another Terminator over to there. And again, it's going to try a shot at the uh, 
Humvee. So again, we're looking for sixes, same weapon as before, and same result as before, no damage. Two. So two more activations for the resistance. Some more people up. There's one, there's two, and two for the for Skynet. So I think we'll probably move one of these guys up towards the fuel dump and then we'll probably activate the Hunter Killer. One out of front, one out the back. Uh, no, just got two, they're on. 360 out. Oh, yeah. So uh, the Hunter Killer has um, flown into the heat of the battle. Um, it's armed with two twin heavy plasma guns. So one is going to shoot at the uh, Toyota and the other one is going to shoot at the Hummer. So there's six dice each and um, at that range um, it needs sixes because it always counts as long range because it's flying. Effectively, it's height 20. So um, it needs sixes to hit. Uh, so I'm going to roll these twice. And that's two successes on the uh, Toyota so far. And that's another three. So that's uh, five, five hits on the Toyota. And it's... Uh, what's the... Uh, it's D10 damage, so uh, we're using purple dice. Five up. Five up. So we need fives, and it was five hits, wasn't it? So that's two successes. Four successes. Five successes. Okay, so the uh, Toyota is uh, toast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we now need to see if the passengers are toast. So uh, the lady with the shotgun, I uh, need a four up to uh, kill her. Nope, she survives. And the missile launcher, uh, he he takes a hit and dies. Um, so she gets to bail and uh, move one movement away from the vehicle um, and takes a, a down marker. Okay, so uh, the second twin plasma, and let's just turn it around to face the... Uh, Okay, so we're looking for sixes again. Uh, that's only one so far. Uh, so that's four hits on the Hummer. And the toughness on the Hummer? Is a seven plus. And uh, just pass me your two D10s quicker. So looking for sevens. And not one. Ooh. Okay, so you've got four uh, resolution tests to make there. Because you've been hit four times. So, uh, what's your uh, res? It's uh, D12s. D12s, okay. Uh, sorry about that. I did say uh, four. It's actually only the uh, the one test. No matter how many times you get hit, it's uh, one test per shooting. And a two, that's a fail. Um, so you take an extra activation token because you are reeling. Yes. Uh, so after the uh, so the hunter killer destroyed a Toyota, killed one guy. Uh, not overly impressed, to be honest. They look so much better in the movies. Wasn't the first. No, there is first that. impression. But... No. However, uh, it's resistance go now. So uh, yes. let's uh, let's go with the resistance. Let's see what they get. Two, uh, two actions. Okay. So oh, two actions. I think these guys are just going to. Well, speak. either that or could go with the Abrahams, as I've committed. I've moved now. Wow, oh, yeah. And you're stationary, so you could fire the big gun. Yeah, I think I've presented myself above the building. Yeah. 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 Let's go with that. Yeah. Yep. So uh, the LMG can fire at somebody else. Um, front arc. So. Can't shoot him, he's behind there anyway, still need line of sight. So there is a Terminator down here. Shoot that guy at the back. This one right back here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you're going to need so. sixes on him with the LMG. So how many yeah. dice do you get with the LMG? What's his rate of fire? Rate of 
five, three. Okay, so three dice, and you're on skill level eight, are you? Yep. Okay, so this you can't do aim fire with this one because it's rate of fire three, not rate of fire one. So you're going to need sixes, uh, two successes. Okay, what's the uh, damage dice on the LMG? It's D sixes. D sixes. Okay, yeah. so uh, you can't actually uh, damage me uh, because I'm armor eight. So I just have to make a reeling test, uh, which is a D twenty for a uh, endoskeleton. Uh, 12 says he's perfectly fine. He doesn't care. So, tank cannon. A big gun. So, um, you're aiming. Yes. So it goes up one level. So that is an AD10. Okay, however, um, I count as being at long range, so you're on a 6. six still. Yeah. Oh. And miss. So, too fast for you. The shot flies off. I'll get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so that was action one. So, action two. Uh, will be to move a resistance fire up. He's going to do a run. Okay. There. And then my last uh, guy, unless I get a fate. No, I do. I get that. So, I don't think he can really see anyone at the minute from there. So he's just going to make a double move forward. Okay, so that's the end of turn one. Uh, nothing overly exciting happened towards the end there as the Terminators had uh, finished their go. Um, some resistance force moved up to the uh, windmill. Uh, guy on, with the missile launcher climbed up onto the rooftop. Uh, there's a few resistance fighters stooging around behind the building there. Um, and then if we look at Skynet's forces, we've got them sort of forming a, a general line. And there's the T-1000 there, waiting to pounce on John Connor and stab him in the face with a kettle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, work our way back round. Um, and don't forget we've got the shotgun lady who bailed from the vehicle into the building, just away from the hunter killer. End of turn one. Okay then, so uh, roll off for uh, turn two. Here we go. Uh, Skynet get four. And the resistance only get the one. So Skynet to get to go first, and we get one action. Okay, so the uh, hunter killer has swooped round the building and is about to target the Abrahams after the Abrahams took a cheeky little shot at it. So he's going to double fire at the Abrahams. <laughs> so that will be uh, a 12 dice attack on the Abrahams. So we'll do four at a time. So uh, we're looking for sixes. Uh, two so far. Uh, two more. And one more. So a total of five. Five hits in total. Uh, we are D10 damage now. Uh, what's the resistance on the uh, Abrahams, please? It is 10 plus. Uh. <laughs> so looking for tens, not one yet. Oh, okay. So it's a reeling test on the tank. D twenty. Okay. Okay. Let's see what it does. Oh, unlucky. So that's uh, it's reeling. Yeah. Uh, so you take two uh, markers because you've not activated yet. So you take your activation and then one more. Um, so whilst the hunter killer um, shots have bounced off the armour on the tank, it's enough to rattle the crew inside. <laughs> so no shooting from the tank this turn. Uh, and it's uh, resistance uh, turn to roll the fake dice. Two. two. So resistance get two. So I so, think. Got to be the cheeky missile launcher out there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he's going to take a cheeky shot. So he's going to aim. So his um, skill level goes up by one. So he's currently a D6, so he goes up to a D8, and he's going to be looking for a 6 because it's classed as long range or extreme range. Oh, uh, oh unlucky, he's missed. Okay, so that's him done. Second guy. I think he's going to have to be a uh, debunk of this rocket launcher. 
out of the Humvee. Okay, well bear in mind, remember you've got an NCO in there who can, if you activate the NCO, yeah. he can subsequently activate the missile launcher as well. Yes. Or if you activate John Connor, he could actually activate the Hummer, mm. plus the other guys in any order you see fit. Oh. So they all debunk, move and, f and then the Hummer can go off and do what the Hummer does. Choices, choices. I think, we should, I think we'll leave your hunter killer for now. Well, it has activated, so you're fairly yeah. sa you're safe this turn. So I think we shall move a resistance fighter. Okay. Up here. Mm -hmm. And take a shot at one of your. Okay. Just check the range because it's borderline on. Uh, it's touching. So yeah, that's good. Take so a you shot. need a five. Um, so that one's armed with a plasma rifle, so yes. that's uh, two shots, is it not? Uh, yep, yeah, rapid fire two. Yeah. And um, skill level six, so you need fives. No. And both missed. Okay, just mark him as activated. Yep. Done. And then it's the endo go. Uh, one. Um, Really want to be reactionary, but not really much else to fire at at the minute. So we're going to activate um, this endo here. He's just going to move closer to that guy and try and slot him. Okay, so he's advanced forward and he's going to fire twice and try and take out the guy. So needing fives, uh, one hit and uh, need a four plus to take him out. Uh, because of the range, he doesn't get cover save. Uh, but he does survive against the plasma, so he has to make a reeling really check. So D8. A D8. And he's Four. reeling, so takes dies for cover. And that's the uh, so grey fate dice for the uh, resistance. And one action. Yeah. Okay, so um, resistance are going to activate John Connor, who's going to yep. use his. Uh, Command ability, um, which yes. is uh, come with me if you want to live, and he's going to activate the other two guys in the Hummer and the Hummer itself. So go for it. So John Connor is going to go run away, run to there. It's a tactical maneuver. All right, okay. <laughs> What's that running away to me? <laughs> That's him done. Uh, the NCO is going to follow him. Okay, because he wants to live. Yeah. Well, he did say come with me if you want to do. <laughs> uh, then the rocket launcher is going to just sit nicely in that doorway. Mm -hmm. And then the Hummer yeah. is going to take a shot at the Hunter Killer. Okay, so, um, so actually that can't, I don't think. Is it a heavy weapon or is it's it... It's HMG. Yeah, it's a heavy machine gun, but is it classed as a heavy weapon? No, it's got brace and suppressive fire. Right, let's just double check because if it's classed as small arms, it won't be able to fire at. Um, no, let's go with it. Maybe wrong. It's quite heavy in the name. Let's just go with that. It's a higher rate calibre. So uh, you're going to need sixes anyway. Yeah. Uh, you can't aim, so you're on D6s. There we go. Um, Not one. No. Three, five, and a one. No no hits. As the guy sits in the copula and uh, racking some rounds out. <laughs> okay, so um, Skynet. Uh, fate. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we will activate the T1000. Um, and he's going to subsequently activate the two endos next to him as well. So, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them there. I think, I think endo number one is going to just pop around the corner and blat the hammer. Um, the T-1000 is going to move over to the building um, 
and then this endo it's going to move up towards the school bus and possibly try a shot at the missile dude on the building I think over there over yonder okay so the endo against the Hummer is going to need fives and the double five says that's okay um, what's it sir seven plus seven plus on uh, one hit goes through so it takes one point of damage uh, so you just put a wound marker on it no nope. oh that's these ones aren't it yeah yep. cool no. okay so the next endo is going to basically move up beyond the bus there and shoot the missile go over there so I'm going to need sixes this time and that's double six, got to love computer technology there. <laughs> uh, so because of the range, um, the uh, resistance fighter is going to get a cover save. Yep. So we've got two four up saves. Uh, pass one, failed one. So it's one chance to take the missile launcher out and it'll be on a four plus. Yep. And it is, so he gets slotted. Okay, and to add insult to injury, uh, the T-1000 has come round the corner, through the door, and is about to stab John Connor in the face. <laughs> okay, so, um, I'm going to do a close combat assault with the T-1000 into John Connor, so he gets uh, uh, one attack with uh, his stabbing stroke cutting parts. Um, so his skill is d10, so he's looking for a 3, which he gets. Uh, it's now d12 damage versus 4 plus. Four plus. And that does 1 damage to John Connor. John Connor takes a wound. Uh, resistance fate dice. Uh, two. Two. 2 actions. So, I think... We are going to move these two fighters up. Careful of the uh, line of fire. So we'll move one this way. To there. Mm -hmm. And he will fire at this endo. Yep. Okay, so it's a D6. And you're looking for a 5 at that range. Nope. Uh, nope. And the next guy. He will move... there yep same again yep and oh. a three so nothing there um skynet gets a one so one action for the skynet and they're going to activate this endo here who's going to move forward to just under the bridge And he's going to see if he, he's going to blat the guy. So we'll just show you. Yeah, just over there, peeking behind the building because these guys around here are all activated. So he's going to fire a double shot at him. And that's going to be on sixes. Uh, well, uh, computer malfunction. <laughs> So that's him done. Um, so you'll go. Two. Two. So. I think we should be a bit reactionary here. And this fighter is going to move to here. Mm -hmm. And take a shot at that end though. Yeah, yeah. Check, just check your range. I think you're in five. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, definitely in five. So, uh, so this guy's armed with uh, plasma. Yep. So it's uh, two shots. Two shots. Looking for uh, five. Fives. Nope. Nope. You should have actually had extra shots with those as well, shouldn't you? You only roll one dice, I think. Yeah. These two. So if you want to do another two on there. Right. No. Uh, no. <laughs> and then the second guy. Yep. He's just going to follow his friend. So 
here. Yeah. Let's shoot that in though. No. Okay, so again, two shots. No. Nope. Still nothing. Okay, so endo turn. Uh, one. So. This endo over here is just going to advance up. Take a double shot at uh, the lead guy. Can't do the split fire. Uh, nope, nothing. I needed sixes. One. One for the resistance. So. Shotgun's still in the room as well, remember? Yes. Now the shotgun's only got that range, so um, I think you could probably get. I reckon she might get it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. She's going to so place her at the end. Go to there. Yeah, and then shotgun. Yep. So rate of fire on shotgun is one. Okay, and it's on a uh, four plus. You might want to go back in time. Uh, yes, I think I will. Not use one of these, yeah? Okay, so uh, I'm not going to contest that one, so you automatically re-roll. No, you don't need to. No. It's only on a roll-off you would need to roll the D8. Right. Um, so because you're going back in time, uh, let's see if uh, a bit of guidance. <laughs> yes. Yep, hits. Okay, what's the damage on a uh, uh, it is shotgun? Power six. Uh, must be more than that. Look, power 6, stop. Okay, so the shotgun has stopping power, but it's uh, effectively at point blank range. Um, so it's a uh, power 8, uh, you need an 8. Whoa. Nope, no. uh, but I do have to uh, test. And fine. So the HK8 has moved up to eliminate the threat from the shotgun. Uh, Skynet's informed it that uh, the Terminator's just taken some shots. So um, we're looking at fours, both hit. Um, you are at point blank range and in the open. So no save. And oh. uh, four to wipe you out. And that's a dead shotgun girl. Uh, fate dice for the uh, resistance. One, one. So now she's out of the way. <laughs> This guy's gonna take a trundle around the corner. Okay. And try and take a shot at your little baby drone. Okay, so it'll be on sixes because he's flying. Yep. He's armed with a plasma rifle. Hang on, actually, let me just double check that. It may not be sixes, let's just double check. Uh, is he V12? Don't think he is actually. It's uh, just hover. Uh, no, so he's not, so you are on fives, I think, or yeah, you might be on sixes. Nope, fives. Oh, no, you hit. one. Okay, uh, the HK drone is armor eight, so you're going to need a eight. No, so reeling. Uh, he's okay. So, uh, Skynet's last chance on the infiltrator. Yep, so the infiltrator is going to move. So, uh, last couple of moves of the turn. Uh, we had uh, some more advancement from the resistance. So, end of the turn, uh, we remove one marker from each model. Okay, so, we've got the roll off for uh, turn three initiative. Uh, four for the uh, Two. I've got a two. Okay, so uh, what would you like to do? Are you going to try and send someone back in time? Yeah, let's do it. Are you contesting? Half tempted not to because I want to try and kill the Abrahams, but I'm a bit concerned you're going to stick your bomb on my T1000. Hmm. No, I'm gonna say I'm gonna save it because you. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. I think. 
because even if I lose the T1000, I've still got my fire. Yeah. So yeah, all right then. Let's see, and you might, and a four is still a decent roll, so let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, the resistance plan backfired. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, they miscalculated it and uh, sent him too far back in time. <laughs> right then, so uh, initiative. Let's, uh, well, not initiative, uh, two. So we have two. So I think I'll activate the T1000. Shock horror. <laughs> And I don't need to worry about the Abrahams, so I'm going to activate the Terminator under the bridge, or the endoskeleton under the bridge. So I'm going to activate him, and I'm going to activate the T-1000. So we're going to start with the endo under the bridge, and he's just going to walk up and punch this guy in the face. Okay, so um, he needs a three to hit. No armor, uh, no cover save. So, ah! <laughs> um, no, he's just going to leave it as that. I'm not wasting it on that. Okay, so that's him done. Let's uh, let's go out of the way. <laughs> so uh, we'll now go with um, the T1000 against John Connor. Um, so we get a D10. We need a three or more. This is the one. <laughs> Would you like to send your agent back? <laughs> I'm going to send my agent back in time. Uh, so I'm going to use my agent. Uh, so we're now agentless. But as you've used all yours, uh, you can't contest it. So uh, here we go. We need a three or more. A five. <laughs> okay. So, um, yep. So we've hit him. Uh, Strength is D12. Damage on him. Uh, it's four plus. So we need... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a flesh wound. <laughs> uh, so real. So uh, what's your... Uh... It's a D12. Okay. Now, bear in mind, if you roll a one... I'll run in. You run, and you're off the table. So anything but a one. A 10 is not good because that means you can still activate. <laughs> oh dear. So uh, I've used my time dis uh, displacement agent. Uh, T1000 has failed to damage a human. And an endoskeleton has failed to damage a human. <laughs> Yay, Skynet is having a blip. It's having a power surge. That's what we're doing. Um, yeah, running an update. Windows update. <laughs> Someone's playing, uh, was it Snake on the uh, on the BBC computers? Okay, so fate for um, the resistance. Let's uh, see what happens. It's the fate dice, which gives you no option other than to activate John, John Connor. Connor. Yeah. Or the NCO. But you can activate John Connor anyway. And you're within range to activate the missile launcher and the Humvee. Although actually you can't see the Humvee, so you can't activate that. But you can activate the missile launcher to take a pot shot. Yes. At, um, so I think. Hmm. So you can. So it, as long as you're activating John Connor, you can move them in any sequence. Yep. So, so we'll, act, we'll activate John Connor. Yeah. So the missile launcher first. Get that done. Yep. Wants to stay still. I take it. Yeah. He's going to stay still and take an aim shot at your. So aim up. shot needs a six on a D eight because it goes up one level. Oh, and you can't turn back time. So that's it's him done. Done. Um, the NCO is going to fall back yep. to here. Mm, yep. You could go outside the building, then you'd be able to possibly take damage off the Hummer at the end of the turn. Bear in mind, yes. you can only take it off if you can see it. Yes, yeah, so he will get to But there, there is the risk of getting shot, obviously. And then... So is he going to move... John Connor. Is, is he going to... What's he going to do? <laughs> He's, He's going to use his sticky bomb. Okay. <laughs> so. Suicidal. Spoiler. What's the range on it? Uh, it just says. Oh, it's close combat. So it's a short one. Okay. So, um, in order to use the sticky bomb, because it's suicidal, you've got to pass it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pass the resolution test. So you need um, six plus on a D12. 
No. No, and... So uh, I can't use it. You can't use it. But I don't get any negatives. No, so you don't retreat off the battlefield. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's one. Uh, and uh, we live to fight another day. Yes. Okay, so uh, Skynet Fate Dice. Oh, I'll reroll that. You'd think I'd be able to get it in a tray, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, so one action. Okay, I'm just going to activate this one here, the HK8, and he's going to take an aimed shot at the guy in the open over there. So um, we are normally on D8s, we're up to D10s, we're looking for fives. Uh, one success, and uh, you are in the open, so you get a four up save. Yep, saved. Um, so resolution test for the guy in the open. Oh. And he retreats off the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> so off he goes. And oh, yeah, another dear. yeah, another casualty. <laughs> okay, so um, got away with that one, bit of an own goal there. Um, so it's uh, your resolution, so Yes. Uh, one. So, I think I'm going to activate the Hummer. Yep. Who is just going to shoot that Terminator in front of him? Uh, yep. So let's just have a quick. Yep. Okay. So uh, you are looking for fives. I uh, can't take an aim shot. Hopefully, it's rapid fire three. Yep. So three shots on fives. Uh, one success. One. It is power eight. Okay, so you need an eight to uh, go through. Nope. Uh, resolution. Twelve is fine. Um. Ooh, fate. Your go. One. One. So, I think we will. Try and activate. Let's activate this guy under here. Mm -hmm. He's going to try and stab your Terminator. Okay, so he's armed with a combat knife. Yes. So. I need a three to hit. I need a three to hit. Hits. Mm -hmm. Hits power six. Yep. So you can't do any damage. Nope. So do I still roll? Nope. Uh, it's just a resolution test, mind, because you've hit me. No, it's fine. Oh, there's your fate dice. Uh, yep. Two. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is and this terminator here is going to bounce up to here and kick him in the balls. So we're looking for a three. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> or not. Uh, so my fate. Yep. One. One. Yeah. He's going to move to there. Mm -hmm. um, to take a shot at Just this. Just check the there. range. Uh, so it's fives. Five. But it is a plasma rifle. So yeah. two shots on fives. No, not one. Fate dice two. Okay, so uh, Endo's gonna walk up and try and take the guy out with his assault rifle. We're looking for fours. One success. No save because you're in the open. Yep. And a four to wipe you out. No, but a reading test. Seven, he's okay. Right. Fate dice. One. Oh. I think uh, I think this guy uh -huh. 
is going to move to here. Okay, so um, two shots on fours. Yes. One success. One here. Need an eight. Still I've got one. Terminator okay. One. At the end though, over this side has advanced up. And he's going to try and stab the hammer. <laughs> so uh, one shot on a three. Gets a four. Uh, terminate clause is a D10. Oh, I am um, seven up. No, oh, reading test on a D12. Oh, <laughs> oh no. drives off the board. <laughs> uh, too too scared, looking into the eyes of a uh, of a Terminator. Oh dear. Okay, so off he goes. Uh, you go. Uh, one. So. This guy, mm -hmm. he's gonna move around to here mm -hmm. and try and stab that endo. Okay. So you're okay, looking for a three. Gets, Gets it. it. Eight. Can't do anything. Oh yeah, can't do anything. Six. It's just. Uh, He's okay. Oh. Over to the Skynet Faint Dice. Mm. One. I think all the endos have gone. Oh no, I've still got the one down there. Mm. Get a bit messy up there now. Mm. I think the. Uh, that time the infiltrator exposes himself. I walk up to uh, him and uh, let's try and stab him. So an infiltrator is a, a D8. So looking for a three. Gets the three. Uh, and he's armed with Terminator Claws. So it's a D10. So looking for a four to take him out. Three failed. Okay, see if uh, it's enough to scare him off though. D8. Nope, he's fine, on. he's not scared. So, nearly the same about him. <laughs> well, let's see if we can stab him back. Right, well, he's armed with a plasma rifle, you might be better off backing off. Yeah, shooting him. It's up to you. You'll be on fours, or you'll be on threes in combat, but combat knife is yeah, going to no, struggle no. to damage him. Yeah, You've got a chance think. with the. Plasma rifles. You really don't want to get caught in combat with Terminators and then right. those. You want to be trying to pull back a bit. You can move you can move past you, can't I? Well you can effectively use the crawl toad crawl marker and just move back slightly and then just black me. You want to get outside of that yeah. distance. We shall do that. And then open fire with your plasma. Yes. Rifle. So two shots, you're looking for fours. One success One. and an eight. There ah! it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, he's uh, he's got hit. Uh, so we need to see if he turns into a crawler. Um, so uh, let's see. No, he's taken out. <laughs> uh, One. So we're gonna. Activate this one down here, and he's just going to advance up and fire at the guy who's just tried to take out, or who has taken out the infiltrator. Six, is yeah? Yep. Nothing. One. So, this guy here. Bear in mind he's only got an assault rifle, so yeah. he's gonna pop here. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. try and shoot down your So rate of fire on an assault rifle is two. Yep. And fours. 
Uh, one success. Um, so let's see if I reel. Nope. And um, my last fight. Yep, so it's the hunter killer. <laughs> What's he want? Okay, so um, the hunter killer's just uh, flown around a bit and come back to pick its target. Um, so um, we are looking for six dice and we need sixes. Only the one so far. Two shots remaining. So that's uh, two hits with the first gun. Two more. So four in total. Uh, we are power ten. And the tank is tens. Yep. Failed. One res result. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> And when things go badly, they go very yeah. bad. And the Abraham's crew have bottled it and left the battlefield. Oh dear. Um, resistance. That's it, I'm done. Uh, you got one guy down there. So I have. Yeah. So he is going to just stand there. Yeah. And shoot this end. Okay, yep. Yeah. So Two dice on fours. One hit. One. I uh, can't damage it because he's got an assault rifle. And oh. 10 minutes, okay. Oh end of turn three. Okay, the scene of uh, <laughs> the battlefield going into turn four. Just to recap, uh, both the Hummer and the Abrahams have both retreated off the board. Uh, really unfortunate on Sam's behalf there. Yeah. Um, really looking for try and take the T1000 down. He still does have the one option left, which he's got one missile launcher um, left to try and take the. Uh, and maybe his luck will change, but. Um, I think probably the Skynet forces have taken more resolution tests. <laughs> they just haven't rolled ones. Um, and it's coming down to that at the moment because, in fairness, the endos haven't really been killing much. So, uh, here we go. Um, roll off for turn four. Yay! And, okay, <laughs> so, um, yeah, the Resistance win their first uh, initiative as well. <laughs> And get a one. So I'm gonna activate John Connor. Yep. And the missile launcher. Yep. So yeah, because I'm not in range to activate him. No. So oh, do I? Actually, no. I'm gonna activate the NCO. Mhm. Mm and the rocket launcher. Okay. So the NCO, what's he going to do? The NCO is going to... Actually, he's just going to... Yeah, he's going to take a one to here. Mm -hmm. And shoot that endo. Okay, so... Um, his plasma rifle. Yep. So, so you've got two shots hitting on fours. If you'd stayed where you were, would you not be on D8 hitting on fours? Yes, because I could have took an aim shot. Mm. Oh no, it's rate fire two, so you can't. No, that is true. Yeah. So, two shots, okay. need fours. Yep. One success. One. Need an eight. No, no. close. Oh, reeling. <laughs> Dear. So, the endo, reeling is in yeah. dire straits there with the resistance fighter next to it ready to uh, do vista. the inevitable hasta la vista however this turn could be yeah. we have a aim shot from the rocket launcher at the uh, hunter killer 
no TBAs left. No. So, needing a six. No. Oh, one short. Okay, missile fire. Fails. Fails again. Okay, so. Uh, so, may well have sacrificed John Connor here. Yeah. Okay, so we will activate the T1000. Who is just going to <laughs> punch him in the, the face? So hitting on a D10, needing a three. Hits. Uh, D12 for damage. Armor four was it? Yep. Yeah. Gets him this time, oh. and he is dead. John He's Carl gone. falls to the T1000. Poor John Connor. And with that, possibly the hope of the resistance. <laughs> oh, okay. So. One. So, I think. So maybe some plasma fire over there. Yes. Try and take some more endos down. Make it look a bit more. Yeah. Respectable. Yeah, I think this guy. Yeah, two dice. He's gonna shoot. Yeah, no. So on fours. No. Oh. oh, not one. Uh, it was only the one action you had, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Ooh, two from Skynet. Intel's obviously got through. Okay, we'll go with. Uh, this terminator down, oh, this endo down here. Gonna hit this guy here on a three. Yeah, followed by a four. Nope. <laughs> Reeling tear. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, so he's got to check his. Uh, he's um, really. And then the second action, we'll do the other endo down there. So we're looking for a three. Oh, no. Nothing. Oh, sorry. Two. two. Okay, so the first job with the two is to. Because I've just realised what I should have done is move one of these over and actually eliminated him to stop him neutralising the endo, which I forgot. So I think I should so do that now. you're going to have to activate him and take that endo out. So he's going to activate to here. Okay, so uh, Hasta la Vista, baby. So um, you need uh, so you need a two plus on a D ten. No, on a D twenty. Oh no, sorry. Yes, yeah, so you need a, D, uh, a two plus to hit. So it's a D six roll on a two plus, but it's then D twenty for damage. Hits. Yep, and then D20, 8 or more times 20. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's a, that endo destroyed. Not much left of him. <laughs> okay, so roll your dice first because if you get a fate. Oh, have you, have you yeah, I've got two. Oh, that yeah. Was the first oh yeah, one. that's it. Yep, sorry. Uh, second one. This guy's going to go to here. Yeah, is he in four? No, so he's still in his fives. Yep. One hit. Needs, a, needs an eight. No. Nope. Six plus. Oh, oh shit. really? He's reeling. <laughs> One. Okay, I'm gonna activate this little dude, and then he's gonna just black that man there. Uh, one success, no cover save because of the range, and one dead. Oh no! One. So. Two two. So. I was thinking with a sprint, can this guy? 
Yep. You can. You can get there. So he's going to run over to here and try to turn him off. Yep. You need a 2 plus. Oh, no, unlucky. Can't find the switch. Going to try and stab the endo. Okay. So, uh, should I want to just step off and shoot? Got the chance of killing him. Whereas you've yeah, got no yeah. chance of killing him unless he rolls yeah. one. So we also step back. Yep. So two shots on fours. Oh, well you would have hit him. Well you would have hit him once in combat. But... Well no, you've only got one dice. So um, here goes one. So the endo. Just there, he's going to black the guy in front of him and try and cover the wall in his blood. <laughs> Two hits. <laughs> uh, reeling test. That's going to be enough. No, no he's all right. right. Well, that was a disappointment. Is that all of you done? Oh no, you've still got this. So. Oh, I got faint. Okay, can't do anything. <laughs> okay, so the hunter killer is going to go hunting and killing. Hmm. Okay, so we've got one guy with an assault rifle. Um, so two dice, looking at fours. And get ready with my resolution test. Oh, oh maybe not. not one. Okay, so that's the end of turn four. Oh, no, it's not. No, maybe we've still got the hunter killer. So the hunter killer. Um, okay, so he's just going to bank round and take out the last remaining threat, being the missile launcher just down here. Okay, so um, the final reckoning. <laughs> See if we uh, eliminate him. So, Bo, uh, in fact, I'm going to fire one plasma at him. I'm going to fire the other plasma at the NCO. Oh. Just on principle. <laughs> so, um, six is on the NCO. Oh, oh, no. oh, maybe I've got a bit too cocky. Oh, one hit. One hit. Um, not with, uh, so you do get a four up save because everything's at long range. So, even if you are in the open, oh, no. you fail. And, oh. <laughs> fail to wound him, res test. And he oh, runs no. away. <laughs> oh, not again. No, that's the NCO. Oh, is that the NCO? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the NCO runs away. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's the uh, missile launcher. Three hits so far. Um, so, three hits plus two hits, five hits. Uh, saving throws, five saves. Two got through. Three get through. And he's dead. Oh no. And uh, with the NCO running away, the last remnants of the resistance yeah. fade away scatter. and scatter. Live to fight another day. Indeed. Right then, so um, that was Terminator Genesis. Um, we're going to do hopefully another couple of games of Terminator, yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, I think Sam's quite hooked on it. Um, <laughs> He just didn't get the rub of the green. Um, now, before people start commenting that the Terminator is CMOP or whatever, tactically, having played as the Resistance and won a tournament, well, not, yeah, sort of won a tournament, came second with a bit of a rehash on scoring. Um, anyway, we won't go into that, I'm not bitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, but basically, as the resistance, what they've got to do is very much like a resistance force. You've got to do hit and run. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to fire. You've got to then pull back. You go toe to toe with an endoskeleton, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is fundamentally what you did. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're going to lose. Uh, simple as that. Um, yes, the flyer. First time I ever used the flyer did seem a little bit um, powerful, especially yeah. when. A lot of points, though. Yeah, a lot of points. Um, I mean, again, this was only 750 points. Um, and if the Abrahams had got the, the first shot yeah. off, maybe it would have been different. And then maybe we would have been saying, oh, well, the Abrahams are too powerful or whatever. Yeah. Uh, always the risk when you start taking the big stuff, whether it be this, whether it be 40k, you know, as soon as you bring the Forge World stuff in, everyone starts moaning. 
So maybe the next game we'll play will be without the without the flyers, maybe underground. There's a few scenarios in the book um, infiltrating a resistance um, sort of stronghold or underground settlement. So loads and loads of legs with it. Um, yes, it is an older game. Uh, doesn't mean it's a bad game uh, by any stretch of your imagination. Um, really like how simple it is to play. Um, Sam's first game tonight. Um, so really straightforward with the dice. Within a couple of turns, you pretty much know what you're doing. Yeah, that's it. Um, and that, that side of it's great. And that's really what you want from a game. You want to just put it down. And you don't want to be sitting there reading rules and you know having having massive debates over what can do what. So yeah, overall a uh, good game. Yeah. And some really fun bites. And really, I can't believe how many times you can roll a one on a d20. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Um, considering in fact you probably only rolled 17 dice to roll <laughs> three yeah. or four ones, four ones in the end I think wasn't it? Because uh, your NCO ran away. Yeah, my NCO ran away, my tank, Yeah. your Hummer, my Hummer and a resistance soldier. And a resistance soldier, so four ones on D20s. Yes. Okay, so um, if you like what you saw, subscribe, uh, feel free to make uh, some comments. Um, we'll do our best to answer them. Um, if you do want to pick up the start set, as I say, Amazon, uh, I think has got some, eBay have got some, the prices do vary quite a bit. I think even Warlord Games with the distributors may still have the odd few bits. Um, and obviously we've got some as well at blackdragonminiatures.com. So again, check us out. Um, other than that, we'll speak to you soon. So see you later and yeah, thank yeah. you, Sam. That was all right.